So today we're going to make some apple pie moonshine and to get started we got our usual bottle of Costco vodka just opened and tested last night. We got two bottles of regular apple juice which are uh, about 1.9 liters so just under half gallon and uh, we got some spiced apple cider. This stuff here is also available pretty much anywhere. It's just under half gallon as well. So in total we're going to end up with about two gallons of stuff. So what we have for our spices that we're going to add in is we have three cinnamon sticks, uh, one nutmeg, and uh, I don't know, probably a tablespoon and a half of cloves. So we'll bust this up and uh, and add it with the cloves, and we're going to use that in a um, thing used for making tea. So we'll uh, get some stuff busted up and get started. So to get the nutmeg, these things are pretty hard, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, a grater I got, and uh, because I'm grating it, I probably won't need to use the whole thing, so this is a super fun grater. So I've used about half of it, and I'll open up my tea dispenser. As you can see, we end up with quite a bit. We'll uh, add our clothes in there. This just makes the rest of our job so much easier because we don't have to filter things out so near as much. So we got it ready to go. So let's start pouring stuff in. So we'll start getting our juices in here. So I'm only using three cinnamon sticks. You can use five, six, ten, however many you want. Not a really big deal. And uh, our spice mix. We'll throw that in there and let her come to a boil. And then we'll keep it uh, close to a boil or just under it for. I don't know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and then we'll shut it off and let it steep for a couple hours to cool off room temperature, and then we'll add our alcohol. So, I'll see you in a bit. So we're getting close to boiling here. One thing I forgot to mention is uh, half a cup of brown sugar. This is just golden brown sugar. Usually I try to use the darker stuff, a little more flavor, but uh, we'll drop that in and, and stir it in while we're... Uh, wait for this to finish boiling and as this goes I've been stirring it every five minutes or so just to keep the even heat going all right so this is boiling pretty good enough it's just a light boil so I'm going to uh, turn it down halfway or so and it's going to simmer for half an hour leave it at that and then we'll uh, take it off and we'll chill it for a couple hours even put it I just leave it on the counter so that it doesn't cool off too fast. I want to get as much flavor out of the cinnamon and nutmeg and cloves as we can. And then we'll add our alcohol. Don't add the alcohol before. Alright, so we got our stuff done. It's cooled off. It's about room temperature now. So we're going to scoop out our tea diffuser. And uh, oh, we'll get the cinnamon sticks out later when we filter it. So. Anyways, I'm going to use, it's a little over three quarters of a bottle of, of vodka here, so I'm just going to add the whole bottle, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Hopefully it's not too strong. So in total, this should, is going to give us about seven liters of apple pie stuff, and uh, do the trick on a Saturday night. So just remember, don't ever add the alcohol when it's hot, because if you do when your your uh, stuff's boiling, all you're going to do is just boil all your alcohol off. So we'll have a little bit of a taste here and see how we are. You're going to see chunks in in this stuff here, and what that is is that's actually the nutmeg. 
I don't worry about it. You can strain it out if you really want, but yeah, it's all up to you. Oh shit. Yeah, that might have been a bit much vodka, but anyways, it'll do. And uh, yeah, so we'll bottle her up and get busy. So we bottled everything up, and as you can see, we started with these three, and we added the better part of a bottle of vodka, and we ended up with our three jugs plus a one quart or one liter jar. So we're out about half a liter or or two cups from what we started with. So that's just what boiled off while it was on the stove cooking. But as you can see, we got we got an ample supply of apple pie moonshine to drink and give away. And uh, I guess if you work it out, you can go to different websites online and figure out the percentage. This one here is between that 12 and 15%. So yeah. Enjoy and have a good weekend.